just to clear the air up, is this a Rwandan satellite, fully Rwandan satellite? Is it ours? Um, thank you very much for having us. Um, yes, you're right. Um, Icherechezo satellite is um, now orbiting to an altitude of uh, 1,200 um, kilometers right. um, in a low Earth orbit um, in a constellation of the partner. Um, you've heard that uh, this is a partnership uh, the government of Rwanda is having with OneWeb. Right. OneWeb um, is a global company that manufactures satellites and um, the objective is to have a pool of over 650 satellites into space um, to provide um, a pool of coverage footprint to cover the globe and uh, connect schools. Right. Now, that's their mission. Um, then, our mission as a country, um, we have also an ambition to connect all the schools. Today, we count around 40% of secondary schools connected to internet, right. and around 14% for primary schools. Now, that's a huge journey to walk through. Right. So it is a need we have, and it's a service they provide. So we merged the partnership. Now, what you saw as um, the satellites, um, it was a launch of one rocket that had six satellites, and among them is one that's called Right. that's supposed to provide services to Rwanda. Um, let me mention that um, this is very strategic for us because... How strategic? Yeah. It is because um, it comes to complement existing programs that we do have today. Right. Um, you've heard previously uh, where Rwanda, we, there were announcements to launch a second one in the middle of this year, uh, right after Transform Africa. And uh, it's an ecosystem or an industry we are trying to build um, capacity, um, businesses and services. Right. So this comes to complement already um, a broader vision that we are having on one side, um, but also importantly, um, providing um, internet uh, for schools. If we take an example of um, a school that's located on an island, Kombo, where the name came from. Right. It is an island uh, that's about a distance of uh, 16 kilometers away from um, the coast. If you choose fiber, we uh, try to estimate it would cost you around $2.5 million and a sea cable. Now, with this partnership, you're able to connect a school like this and have a free benefit of internet connectivity for 10 years. Right. That's part of the arrangement. Right. But also, um, I mean, internet itself comes with huge and immense benefits that you can count. Right. Um, an example, uh, you're talking of connecting and provide digital services to citizens that are around the island. Right. Also, um, even to GDP, uh, you know one of the research it says uh, when you have 10% of broadband increase, you right. are sure to have 1% of GDP increase. Um, it's an ecosystem that plays together. Mm. Um, you're training students, you're training teachers, you're inducing innovation right. across the system. Mm. Yeah. All right. Now, talk to me about, of course, uh, we're seeing that uh, this is going to save the country about $2.5 billion, as you mentioned, uh, if we were to lay out a traditional fiber optic to the 16-kilometer uh, island that is, you know, away from uh, the coast. But how much investment are we seeing going into this? Yes, it's a partnership, but it comes at a cost. So how much are we investing? Uh, that's a great question. Um, let me say that um, <coughs> one way, um, part of their business model, they right. do invest, right? Um, and of course, as investors, they look at where there are opportunities. Mm. And um, usually, um, with an investment model, there are so many factors that go to it. Um, one is looking at opportunities to target um, a huge market. Uh, as you know, here in Rwanda, we try to position ourselves as uh, a footprint or like a landing site for digital services to the continent. So many investors come, and that's why you've heard about the Kigali Innovation City, right. where um, um, investors come, um, do the tests, right. um, run proof of concepts, right. then um, with a huge target to expand to the rest of the continent. Right. And that's the major company that all these investors will look at. 
And for us, oh, definitely, um, it doesn't harm to have a conversation, to come and tap to this opportunity. Right. Uh, satellite itself um, has been a mystery. You know, it's a sophisticated high-tech science right. that's known to be only serving the urban dwellers and airlines. Right. So today, what we want to do is to demystify it mm -hmm. and say, um, for an island or even the last mile right. places, right. you're able to leverage it and push for high um, high speed throughput of even about to 100 Mbps. Gordon, before I let you go, of course, we're seeing uh, another satellite to expect it to take off this year and of course uh, to also look at the implementation of the SDGs. Of course I had a, an extensive conversation with the Rwanda Utility Regulatory Authority Director General uh, Patrick Nirishema there. But I want us now to look at when shall we see Rwanda, of course with the uh, trends uh, towards the ICT and innovation, uh, moving more to creating an aerospace industry, of course training being part of this. Yeah, um, like I mentioned, um, we, we, we are making um, baby steps that are calculated, as to say. Um, like I said, um, there will be mm. partnerships with different partners. Right. An example is where we target to launch uh, the second one, maybe this year right after Trans Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also had a random students, um, like a third of them right now, undertaking um, a high tech. Um, courses in space industry. Okay. Um, when they come and um, come back, these are the people going to help us with building capacity, um, building um, the momentum around the industry. So for us, we put up policies, we attract right investors, right. and we design models that to allow Rwanda not remain behind in any high-tech field. All right. Thank you so much. Okay.